2K, 2K, man. 2K just leaked some new 2K23 gameplay footage, man. And I'm be honest, it's looking like a big W, like I told y'all on the last video, man. Let's get into it, man. We got some more news, and we got that gameplay footage that we got to tap into. Let's go. 2K Mike Wayne Dev went to Twitter and said this. Driving dunk rating dictates how easy it is to block dunk attempts. Flashy dunks boost your takeover meter faster than basic ones. Bat scratchers, windmills, tomahawks, and other flashes are much harder to block in general. Now, we know for years in the 2K community, if you were to do these type of dunks, you are getting blocked. You are getting blocked or you're missing a dunk because of the contest. And we all know IRL that pretty much if you do a bat scratcher or a tomahawk, you're not going to get blocked for real, for real. You know what I mean? Obviously, depending on the position, defender, you know, athleticism, all that, you know, all that come to play. But nine times out of ten, if you're doing a bat scratcher or a tomahawk on somebody, you pretty much are going to make the dunk. So it looks like 2K is really going with the more IRL approach here for the slashing, man. And I like it. I'm be honest. I like it. Slasher. I wasn't slasher in 2K22, but it's no reason why my drop and dunk should be at 95 and I can't do flashy dunks. And I got to use quick drops all the time because it is the best in unblockable dunk. Like, it's, I have a 95 dunk rating for no reason. So it looked like 2K is gearing more towards slashers, giving them a little bit more help, man. I love it. Let's go. We got some more news. Now, 2K Mike Wayne Dev also went to Twitter and said this. For post players, semi fades and post hooks are controlled by double throws too. And drop steps and post hop steps can be done by double throwing a pro stick in the same direction. Now, me personally, I've never been a post up guy. I didn't really, if I played big man, I wasn't really posting up. I was more of a shooting big. But it's looking like you're able to do a little bit more moves, you know, with the double throws. Basically, double throws flicking the right stick the same way twice, you know what I mean? So look, like you're able to do a little bit more moves. So look, like it's gonna be a little bit of a skill gap between who could do those cheesy, cheesy drop steps all the time and who actually knows, you know, the stick movement, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like dribbling the stick movement, but they put it into the post game. And I like it, man. I feel like every big man shouldn't be able to do those cheesy, cheesy drop steps or those cheesy, cheesy post hop shots where they get already in the paint, even though you got great defense, you're already in front of them and they still somehow make the shot or get you into the dead zone. Now, it doesn't mention regular hop steps, but I'm gonna be honest, 2K, I miss hop steps. Don't get me wrong, 2K20 hop steps was OP, but it was something that pretty much everybody could do. And if everybody could do it, then, you know, it's cool, you know what I mean? But you could still stop it, but it was amazing, man. So please bring back hop steps 2K. Now let's get up into this leak. 2k gameplay footage that they recently just dropped man let's get into it let me know your thoughts on it in the comments what you think of it let's go this is josh giddy introducing you to nba 2k23's my team mode this year take more control than ever before on your journey to assembling your very own dream team of the greatest nba superstars let's take a look at what's coming to my team this year Seasons are returning in my team, with more ways to progress and earn incredible rewards in every game mode on your way to level 40 and beyond. And with new seasons every six weeks, my team is always staying fresh. With more ways for you to play and take control of your journey, let's hit the triple threat courts to see what's new. For the first time in my team, team up with your friends and your favorite cards in the brand new triple threat online, Co-op. Squad up with your friends to take on AI opponents to rise up your individual reward ladders or compete online to get great rewards as a team. You can even match up 3-on-3 three three in a party game for bragging rights. If you're going solo, Triple Threat gets new rewards for new and experienced players each season. And Triple Threat Online returns to its classic roots in multiplayer action. Call in all weekend warriors. My Team Limited is a fun, online competitive mode with lineup requirements requiring you to adapt and overcome each weekend with guaranteed rewards with every win. Clutch Time expands to both the multiplayer and single player experience. With a four point line, five minutes on the clock and a 14 second shot clock, this high intensity and fast paced mode is like nothing else in NBA 2K. Unlimited Returns. Take your best lineup and compete to increase your season's points and rise up the leaderboard. With even more rewards, prestiging, and competition, get ready to see how you rank against friends and the My Team community. New to 2K23's My Team? 
You can lock your control to a single player no matter if you are in domination, challenges, limited or triple threat. Focus and compete how you want. Finally, contracts are gone. Play and use the cards in your collection how you want. There's more ways to play, earn, build and compete with your dream team in NBA 2K23, my team. Man, 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 major W for 2K, man. This news is crazy, man. Look, so if you are my team player, bro, if you are my team player, let me know what you like most about the new addition that's coming to my team in the comments. Drop a W, man, if you really, really like it. Me, personally, my favorite, though, is that you can play multiplayer triple threat online. That is so tough 2K. You can finally run your boys on my team instead of just playing against them. And then not only that, contracts is gone, man. I would not tell you how many times I had the best player on the team, best freaking lineup. Then I'm about to play a game. 2K hit me with, oh, you don't got no contracts. You don't got no contracts. Man, come on, 2K. Let me run my game. So 2K, y'all is doing y'all thing with this my team upgrade. And the gameplay looked as smooth as well, man. I hope y'all paid attention to the gameplay because it looked very smooth, man. 2K23 is about to be a big W, man. I'm telling you. So let me know, man. Let me know. How much money did you guys spend this year on 2K, man? If you're comfortable with it, let me know, man. Me, personally, I spent so much money this year on 2K. I played my team and my career. And then plus, you know, buying clothes and all this other stuff. Totally, I spent about $1,500 on 2K this year, man, which is freaking outrageous. Let me know in the comments about how much you spent, man. But we got some more news. Let's get up into it. 2K also went to Twitter and said, experience the Jordan Challenge, man. They are bringing back the Jordan Challenges. I'm pretty sure the Jordan Challenge is in 2K11. Mistake me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's where it was at. But it is one of the most fun things to do, man. The Jordan Challenge will keep you busy and will keep you entertained all at the same time. So if you're tired of my team, you're tired of my career, you're tired of losing, man, hop on the Jordan Challenge, man. That's basically saying give you another game mode to have fun on the 2K. So big W for 2K for doing that. And if you haven't so far, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the video, man. But also, 2K Mike Wayne Dev went to Twitter and said most if not all of the returning badges that have been retuned or reworked in some way. If something was OP in 22, don't assume it will be again in 2K23. Also, some of the weaker badges were buffed also, man. So let me know in the comments what badges you think were OP and what badges do you think need to be buffed, man. So hopefully they got a better balance with the badges. And hey, big W2K for doing that, man. Anyways, Don Work went to Twitter and asked Mike Wayne, is Circus 3 still in the game? Mike Wayne said, Circus 3 is not out the game but it is replaced by Agent 3s, man. So if you guys don't know what Circus 3s is, it pretty much lets you fade from the three-point line, man. You know, just like your Curry or d Lil. And those type of players should be able to use Circus 3s, man. So hopefully they have it balanced to where you have a, you know, a little bit higher rating, you know, so that way you don't have Circus 3s and you got freaking lockdown clamps and you got freaking Giannis finishing, and you got freaking Kyrie Irving dribbling package. You know what I mean? So you shouldn't be able to have all four of those, man. But that is my opinion on it. And that's pretty much all the news for today, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's your boy FJC Live. More content on the way, and I'm out.